It was a rainy evening just like this one. Running down the stairs, the kindly teacher lost her footing. She tumbled and she fell and she died. You've all heard the stories, no? Before? Ocean Academy was built here. There was another school on this property. Heavenly Host Elementary School, it was called. Such a horrible thing to happen. The principal was completely devastated. He cared for the school almost as if it was his own child, you see. But one thing led to another after the incident. And ultimately, a decision was reached. The school was to be shut down. The principal was so stricken with grief after losing his precious child that on the day of its closure, he climbed up to its roof and threw himself to his death, or so the story goes. <gasps> People thought Heavenly Host was cursed, you see. This was just the latest of many deaths to occur there. That's why it was torn down. However, they say the teacher who fell down the stairs still has no idea she's dead, even to this very day. And on rainy evenings like this, after our school days come to an end, some claim she roams these darkened hallways, still believing them to be her own. In fact, it's almost time for her to make her rounds, just after 7 o'clock. That's when she appears, always accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building dark as night. Knock, knock, you'll hear from the blackness, followed by the sound of the classroom door slowly sliding open. As her pale white face cuts through the stillness, her soft voice always echoes the same question. Is anyone still here? And then... <gasps> it's a blackout! Alex, pull yourself together. Don't scare us like that. But it was scary. I don't like this. This shouldn't be happening. Not bad, Jenny. You had me going there for a minute. It wasn't me. I've been standing right here the whole time. This is a real blackout. Does anyone else hear that? Sounds like it's coming from the music room. <gasps> First the blackout, and now the door? Uh. What the hell is wrong with you, Alec? Get a hold of yourself. <gasps> I told you it was a bad idea to stay here so late and tell ghost stories. Hey, Alex, aren't you gonna get the door? What? The girls are trembling in fear. Doesn't it just break your heart to see them like that? So why don't you get the door? <laughs> well, it doesn't break my heart. That's cold, man. Is anyone still here? Go home, children. Did I scare you? Miss you? Hey, you teach. All right. I'd call that a brilliant success. <laughs> Man, you scared us. You got that right. <laughs> Your timing couldn't be more perfect. <laughs> I wasn't a student here too long ago myself, so when it comes to the seven wonders of 
Ocean High. I'm pretty well versed. Hey, Alex. <laughs> I thought our reaction was priceless, but yours was a whole different level altogether. <laughs> I thought Jacob's rea reaction was priceless, but yours was a whole different level altogether. <laughs> <laughs> it was pr pretty impressive. I can never hope to compete with that. <laughs> Alex always gets the best reactions. I just love it when my scares are so effective. <laughs> it's simply awesome. <sighs> Whoever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak anyway? Sorry about that, Alex. But I don't deny your reaction was pretty amusing. All pranking aside though, I ran into a rather adorable person, well, child, um, who's come to see you, Alex. What are you standing around out there for? Come in, he's right here. H Hello, everybody. Yuka, what are you doing here? Big brother! Seems Alex forgot his umbrella this morning, so little Yuka here come all this way to deliver it. Oh yeah, I guess I did. Sorry about that, Yuka. Thanks. <laughs> Is she from junior high? Nice to meet you. My brother's always like this. Always really kind, I mean. Aww. <laughs> Alex, she's so cute. I never knew you had a such a cute little sister, Alex. Uh, really? I never told you? You never said a word. You sure do love your big brother, don't you? <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> hey, Naomi, looks like you got yourself a rival, eh? Uh, I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. I swear this mouth of yours say the craziest things. All right, everybody, it's past seven. Isn't it about time you get ready to head home? Oh. Oh, do we have to? Shouldn't we clean up all the red bean cafe stuff first? It, it'll, it, 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 uh, it'll be a shame to leave so soon. Yeah, with a classroom like this, it almost seems like we could hold another culture festival tomorrow. Isn't that what you were supposed to be doing here in the first place? You promised me this room would be ready by the time I get here, as I recall. Uh, hey, well, it's getting late. How about you leave it for now and come in early tomorrow? All right then. Bonnie, I know how hard it is to say goodbye. But I wish you the best of luck at your new school. I know you'll do just fine. <laughs> Thanks. Wouldn't be the same around here without you, Bonnie. I know you, Bonnie. You'll make new friends in no time flat. I'm sure of it. And it's not like you're moving that far away. Come winter break, we'll all make sure we come visit. Yeah, totally. Don't look so glum. We'll see you again real soon. We're friends forever after all. You guys. Hey brother, is that girl transferring to a new school or something? Yeah, today's culture festival was her last day. Aww. Thank you all so much, all of you. I'm so grateful to have you as friends. Yeah. <laughs> Bonnie. <laughs> oh, Bonnie, take care out there. I'll always be watching over you from above. Uh, Seiko, Earth to Seiko. <laughs> My spirit will guide your path. You're not dead, you know. Sugi, come on, let's see that smile of yours. <laughs> But how about we get everybody in the shot?
Okay, it's set for 10 seconds. Cheese!